Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video we have a brand new Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo gaming laptop. This one, it just got in today, so they want to change, they want to add an SSD drive M.2 and to make it much faster. And also in the next video we're going to show you guys how to add extra RAM. Okay, we got a it comes with an iCore 5 9 gen and has a GTX video card inside. I'm not too sure about what model, I believe it's 1050. First thing first, you want to flip your laptop upside down and we're going to be start removing all the screws at the bottom cover, everything that you see. Grab yourself an opening tool. I use the iFixit tool set and uh, we're going to be using bit number zero. Uh, let's go ahead and remove all the screws. Alright, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Once you removed all the screws, just double check, make sure you haven't forgot any. Four in the front, two on the side, two on, one on the other side, mid back, middle and uh, right by the hinges. Now that we removed everything, you want to open your laptop in 45 degree angle. You want to grab yourself an opening tool. In this case, I'm going to use a guitar pick and you want to stick this guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover right here. There's a little opening right there. You see, that's how you want. You want to stick it in about two or three millimeters, not two, not, you don't need to stick the whole thing in, just a little bit. And what you want to do, you just want to move it around. You're going to hit tiny clips cracking. They're not breaking, they're just getting loose. You want to do all around, go to the sides. And hold it and do the other side. There we go. Once you got the front and the sides done, put it back down and close it and once you close it now you want to grab it from the front top cover and just want to wiggle it around and lift it up slowly and it should get loose enough and that's your bottom cover you can go ahead and clean up the mesh that's for the dust and down here we have the whole laptop two coolings Shared heat pipes from the CPU to the GPU right there. Anyway, so what are we gonna do here? We only have an uh, one terabyte mechanical drive. We wanna add an M.2 NVMe drive right here. So we can format this one, put it as an extra storage and put the windows, install the windows on M.2. I'll leave the link in the description for this M.2s. You can purchase a different model, different brand. Uh, for example, there's a one terabyte crucial which are really nice and there's a 500 gig Evo plus Make sure it says NVMe. They're really fast So it's really worth to have the systems or games in the SSD drives Loading times and many other effects So once you got your SSD What you want to do you want to remove this screw that they gave it to you right here remove this screw Now, grab your SSD drive, place it. You want to put it all the way in. You want to put it in a like a 10 degrees angle. Grab the SSD in this angle, like a 45, 35 degree, and push it all the way towards the jack. Make sure all the pins are inside. Now you want to push it back down to the board, and you want to put the screw that you removed right on top. And there we go. And once you've done this one, what you need to do, you want to go to the Windows website and grab yourself a 8 gig of USB thumb drive and download the Windows 10 right into the, they actually provide you the tools. It automatically downloads the Windows, puts it in, burns it into your thumb drive and then you stick it to your laptop, boot it up from there and install the Windows right inside the, this new SSD drive. 
and then you can go inside the windows format the other one leave it blank for your files and systems once you got now that you got new drive in there what you want to do you do not need to disconnect the battery some people are like oh I, you should disconnect the battery you do not need to disconnect the battery to put uh, hard drives or NVMe or RAM or anything like that there is no voltage going through these uh, rails so yeah but if you want to be extra cautious or you're really panicking you can just buy, pull this jack backward towards the battery and the battery will, and the cable will get loose but you do not need to all right next we will grab the bottom cover place it right on top and don't squish the corners all the way down make sure you hit those clicks now you want to open it up a little bit and you want to start pinching the corners you don't want to pinch it with the screen just pinch the corners the sides and on the back side just press it gently on the back and that's it and the last thing will be to grab the screws and place it on the bottom cover I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. And if you have any requests or questions, leave them in the comment area. I'll try to answer them. I really appreciate it. If you guys subscribe, it really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys and answer your questions. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.